Hey everyone, this is Dean with DCA Crypto. Got an exciting video for you guys today. I got some things I want to show you with the Bitcoin chart and the cycles in general with crypto. Some exciting things that might point out to just an absolute massive bull run that may be upon us here. And I'm going to show you some things that uh, if this is true, this is just absolutely crazy. So I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and let's jump into it. All right, guys. So as you guys know, we've been on a full bull run swing uh, recently with the market. Now, I'm on vacation right now as you're watching this. So it's going to be about a week <laughs> A week ago since I recorded this video so who knows what could happen between now and when this video comes out we may get a big correction and if that's the case I think that that's okay and that's healthy it's gonna be irrelevant to the long uh, I guess the the uh, whole aspect of this video is gonna remain the same whether we get a huge correction between now and when this video comes out but I'm assuming things are gonna stay bullish between now and when this video comes out but just in case they don't it doesn't change the uh, theme behind this video because I'm going to show you some things in here that even if we get a correction uh, unless it's unless it's like just a massive devastating black swan event uh, correction is going to be healthy to help us move up higher if that happens but we're going to jump into some things in this video that are going to show you that how early we are in this cycle and why this could be like a massive massive bull run like we've never ever had before so let's jump into it here if we look at the Bitcoin rainbow chart, now I don't know where Bitcoin is going to be when this video comes out. I'm on vacation, so I have to record this ahead of time. I'm not going to have crap for data where I'm going, and I'm going to be really busy enjoying myself, hopefully, and getting away from all the stresses of everyday life. So hopefully Bitcoin is still uh, above all-time high or uh, close to it by the time this video comes out. Regardless, it doesn't really matter. If you look at the chart, we reached the yellow zone now. And we did reach this in the previous uh, bear cycle, but we were not at all time high at that point because, you know, if you look back here, we were in the dark red in the previous bull run. We got up into the orange this last bull run or the, the, the light red, I guess you could say here, and came all the way down to the dark blue. And now we got up into the yellow zone again. And we're before the halving. That's that's the absolute crazy part that we've gotten up to our previous all time high before the halving. I mean, this is just absolutely insane. This has never happened before in the history of Bitcoin. Now, we're just shy of that by the time I'm recording this video because I'm recording this like on the fourth of the month, so like a week ago or so. But I don't have any choice in my schedule because I'm leaving Thursday. Uh, and I need to get these videos recorded while I'm gone so you guys have some decent content. So, regardless of that, so we'll jump into the Fear and Greed Index here. We're at 90 currently, so we're in that extreme greed zone. So it is a good possibility that we could get some kind of correction. Maybe we get it by the time this video comes out, maybe not. But either way, uh, extreme greed is a warning signal to us that things could get nasty pretty soon and people are going to start taking out the profits. Does that mean the bull run's over? Absolutely not, guys. It's healthy that we get corrections if this happens. What's really crazy is we're going to jump into the, this global liquidity cycle. And I've seen this on some other videos before. But if you look at this, this coincides these big upswings with the liquidity, global liquidity coming into the market coincides with every previous bull run and if you look at this one we are just getting started so can you imagine if we're just getting started and the global liquidity cycle is just beginning to happen and we're already at all-time high can you just imagine how high bitcoin could possibly get if this stays true to like every other cycle it has had in the past this is absolutely crazy. We could be talking about well over $100,000 Bitcoin, $150,000 or more. But uh, this is absolutely crazy what's going on. This has never happened before that we've been this far up in the price of Bitcoin this early in the cycle. And how uh, there's other signs out there that tell me we're extremely early, okay? We haven't had a lot of these big alts take off and, and reach all time highs yet. I mean, they're not even close. They're just getting warmed up. And the fact that NFTs are not really crazy is another sign to me that we're not in the bull run yet. 
And if, if any of you were around for the last bull run, you know how freaking crazy NFTs get in the bull run. People will th literally just throw thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars at NFTs, and it can be the dumbest, stupidest JPEG out there, and people will rush to buy thousands of them, and they'll pay thousands of dollars. They'll pay like several ETH for these stupid things, and they'll pick them up because they're the next hottest, coolest thing out there. We haven't even reached the beginning of NFT season yet, and Bitcoin's at an all-time high. This is absolutely crazy. It's scary crazy. It's like... It's like you're waiting for the hammer to come down and it hasn't come down yet. And it's like, you know, after you've been in crypto for a while, you just you, you just get kind of like head shy, like like you've been abused from all these uh, markets dumping on you. And you get like you, you get all this euphoria because your portfolio is up really high. And then, bam, somebody smacks you in the head and you wake up and your portfolio is down 40 percent overnight. That hasn't happened. And that's the scary part. Uh, so if it happens to you and you're new to crypto, Welcome to crypto. It's just what happens. You know, we get these major corrections in the market where people are, the whales are taking their profits and dumping the prices down. People start panic selling because they're freaking out. They're new to crypto and they, you know, they start seeing the portfolio jump down. So they sell and they just bought it at a higher price. And now they're, now they're down on their investment and they're selling at a lower price than what they bought it for. And then the price goes back up and they're like, damn, now I can't buy it at what I bought it for before. And they miss out. So hopefully you don't get scared out of your bags either. So be careful of that. But regardless, I think we're still early in this bull run. Just based on those two factors alone. The fact that alts haven't really hit all-time highs yet. And the fact that NFTs have not even begun to start. I mean, you barely hear about NFTs right now. In the bull run, that's you're going to be hearing about NFTs going absolutely crazy. And it's going to be like... People are going to be desperately trying to mint these NFTs. And you're starting to see the effects of it on the network right now with ETH gas prices getting a little bit ridiculous. Just wait until these NFT mints start going crazy. But we now have Solana. And I think Solana is going to be a big winner in this bull run for NFTs. So there's going to be some very lucrative mints on Solana very likely in this bull run. So keep an eye out for that. And get used to using like Magic Eden. I think Magic Eden is now doing Ethereum as well. Uh, and, you know, I think Board 8 Yacht Club has adopted them as, as their, uh, like, platform for NFTs now and some others because they didn't like what OpenSea was doing. But between OpenSea and, and uh, Magic Eden and some other ones out there, there's going to be some major NFT mints that could potentially make you thousands and thousands of dollars in this bull run. So you're going to want to watch out for those. And if I... Get a heads up about any that will be coming up. I'll share it with you guys and share it with you guys in Discord and Telegram as well. And let you guys know what's coming up because there can be some very lucrative NFT mints where if you get in on the mint price, you can get them cheap and then you can turn around and flip them for sometimes, you know, ridiculous amounts. I mean, literally thousands of dollars instantly uh, in profit when you can get in on those when they're really hot. So look out for that. Make sure you know how to mint an NFT because it could be very, very life-changing for people out there if you can buy these at the right time. The main thing is, is to buy them and then get in big profits on them. I usually I usually do buy like a couple of them and then I'll sell, you know, if I try to buy like two or three of them and I'll sell a couple of them and then I'll hold on to one of them in case the price goes up higher, but I'll flip those other ones so I'm in profit right away. And that's kind of what you do with NFTs. Don't hang on to them. And, uh, you know, ride them all the way down like a lot of people did in the last bull run. That happened to me with several of them. I, I could have made some huge profits if I, would, if I would have sold them before the bull run is over. So be careful of that. But there will be some lucrative NFT mints out there in the bull run. We haven't reached that yet. That tells me we're not even beginning to get into the main bull run yet. That's a big sign to me. Uh, if any of you were around the last bull run, you know how crazy NFTs got. And it's very likely that it'll happen again. Uh, but I, I really appreciate all of you guys out there that support me and support my channel. I'm on vacation right now, hopefully enjoying myself, and uh, we'll see how my vacation goes. But I'll get back to you guys with the Galaxus engine giveaway when I get back, because uh, it's going to be over with by the time I, by the time this video comes out, very likely, because uh, I think this one's going to come out after the 12th. But I'll get that Galaxus engine giveaway. Uh, get the winners picked out for that. I'm giving away three Galaxus engines. 
and uh, I might do another one in the future. So even if you're buying them after that giveaway, I'll try to do another giveaway on those in the future. Uh, for those of you who have used my code in the past, I really appreciate it. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover for this video, guys. I really appreciate all of your support. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a like for the YouTube algorithm, and we'll see you on the next video.